Hi, my name is Meenakshi. Hi, my name is Danica. Hi, my name is Shreya. And we are Team MDS. COVID-19 is a global pandemic with over 100 million confirmed cases and over 3 million deaths. It has led to school closures for over a year now and has caused many small businesses to shut down. On a more personal level, I lost my grandpa to COVID. Many businesses have been negatively impacted by COVID-19 and struggle to reopen safely. CO2 Sensei helps small businesses maintain safe levels of ventilation. Good carbon dioxide levels are important in the workplace because scientists have found a decrease in cognitive ability when CO2 levels increase. The Harvard scientists measured a 15% decline of cognitive ability scores at 950 ppm and 50% decline at 1400 ppm. COVID-19 is airborne. It spreads through the air. Ventilation with air purifiers and natural wind reduce infection risk by separating airstreams that might contain the virus. Previous research has shown CO2 levels to be a good proxy for ventilation. Therefore, we decided to make an app using measured CO2 levels to inform the user and provide guidance for improving ventilation. We emailed three different experts on ventilation. Here are some key takeaways from the experts. These very, very small particles that we call aerosols that stay suspended in the air follow very easily the air streams. And this is how ventilation helps remove them from the air. At the start of our journey, we decided to create a carbon dioxide sensor using Arduino to see the relationship between ventilation and carbon dioxide. After a car ride experiment, we noticed when there was poor ventilation, the carbon dioxide levels increased dramatically. We then set out to create our app, CO2 Sensei. CO2 Sensei helps improve ventilation to reduce the spread of COVID or other diseases transmitted through the air. Our app displays the carbon dioxide levels of the building or your household on the home page. Then, based on how high the levels are, the text of the CO2 levels will change. For example, if the levels are dangerously high, the text of the levels will be red but if they're perfectly fine, then it will be green. We also give instructions on how to improve ventilation both through the app and our website. Welcome to CO2 Sensei. First, open the app. Then, turn on Bluetooth. A code will appear on the sensor. Enter the code into the app. The sensor and the iPhone are not connected. Home screen displays the current carbon dioxide level. The graph section allows the user to see the previous carbon dioxide levels between two different dates. For CO2 sensors without Bluetooth, the self-upload allows the user to just take a picture of the sensor screen. Our artificial intelligence will detect text and the CO2 level is still saved in Google Sheet. The user input section allows the users to manually input the carbon dioxide levels. The data is entered into the Google Sheets and Cloud. The information section connects to our website, co2sensei.com, and has information about ventilation and COVID-19. Before creating the app, we researched other similar apps on the market. We found two other apps that utilize CO2 sensors. The chart here shows the main differences between us and our competitors. After creating our app, we noticed that a lot of people didn't know much about ventilation and COVID-19, so we decided to create our own website. In the website, we included lots of detailed information and resources on the topic, as well as some instructions on how to use the app. The team went through multiple times of refining the app and adding new features. Because I think it's going to provide people a very easy and objective way of seeing if there's uh, air is being circulated in, in their space. While the app is already usable, we plan to make it even better. Based on some feedback from Dr. Rohl, we plan to adjust the color-coded levels based on location. We also plan to have SMS notifications when carbon dioxide levels go high. Our app is being submitted to the App Store, and we strongly believe that it will be able to help small businesses across the country open safely.